Hi, welcome back. It's me again. Today's video is going to be talking about different tuning options for the Nissan Sentra B15 um, 2002 to 06. Before we get started on the tuning options, a couple channel updates. Uh, first is I added chapters to most of my videos. That way you can just go ahead and skip through to whatever portion uh, you're looking for. No sense you having to watch an entire video uh, if you only want to try to get one piece of information. Uh, next channel update is uh, I put links on the products I use, so like the thermostat, the injectors, etc. And I bought all this stuff from eBay, so I'm using eBay links. Also with those links, they are affiliate links, so I do make very small percentage if you click on that link and you buy something from eBay. Uh, anywhere from 1% to 3% before taxes. Anyway, on to the video. So first tuning option, a piggyback system. Here. Uh, most common is gonna be the Apex C, AFC, AFC Neo, something along those lines. And the way those work, you have your factory computer and your factory program in the computer. And it makes its calculations based on your input from the sensors. And what the Apexi does, it goes in between the sensor and the computer and it manipulates the voltage coming out of those sensors. Tricks your ECU to think that a particular sensor or sensors are reading differently than what they actually are. By doing that, you can effectively re have the computer make wrong calculations to where it benefits you. For example, um, this is uh, something we did back in the day. If you took your air temperature sensor, you could stick in a resistor in there and make it think that it's reading 38 degrees and it'll make your car run more rich. Uh, piggyback is basically using the same concept. It's a good option for ease of use. Uh, it does take a little bit to set up because you gotta splice into some wires. So piggyback's a, a decent option. It's not gonna give you the best results because you're limited on what you can control. Reflashing is gonna be your next option. And reflashing is great because you take the memory or the file that's in your ECU, which is called a ROM file, and you can basically adjust how those calculate different tables. So you can adjust things from uh, sensitivity to your throttle, to air to fuel, your timing, your cam timing. There's probably 40 different tables you can go and adjust on, on there. I'm not a tuning expert, so don't ask me how to tune a car. I will not be able to help you. Reflash, you got two options. Uprev, which is the most common option for the Sentra platform. 550 will get you Uprev, and then it'll basically allow you to put a tune file onto your car. It does not allow you to edit your own tune, so you would need to go to a tuning shop or have like a remote tune done by like Bobby Haskell or something along those lines to be able to get a tune file and be able to put it on. Uh, Uprev has this data logging um, software built into the same software so you can data log off of Uprev, you can connect your Innovate gauges onto Uprev and it just makes the whole process a lot simpler. And it's a pretty easy, straightforward setup and there's a lot of tuners out there that work with Uprev. So it's not a very cheap option, but it's a really good option. And if you spend a little extra, a couple hundred bucks more, um, you can get the tuner version, you can edit the tunes yourself, or you can even spend another hundred bucks and get the ARC license, which uh, opens up some new f features, which are kind of neat. Another option, which isn't commonly known, but is possible on our platform, is using ROM Raider with NISPROG. So it's two different programs you got to use and it is not user friendly at all. There's only a handful of people that I know that's actually figured it out. So NISPROG is a software you use to be able to pull the ROM file off of your ECU and then you can then combine those files and put it into ROM Raider to be able to read those files and edit those files. Once you edit those files you save your ROM, put it back into NISPROG and then NISPROG you can use to reflash your computer. It's all open source software, so there's no cost for the software. Software is free. Uh, you do have to buy a cable, which is gonna run you 15, 20 bucks maybe. It sounds a lot easier than what it is. It is not user friendly. There's not very many tuners out there that will touch ROM Raider for Nissan. 
So that's going to be the biggest issue. If you know how to tune yourself, it might be a great option. Next option is going to be standalone ECU. Uh, standalone ECU is going to be your most expensive. Uh, you're going to be spending over a thousand no matter what, pretty much. With standalone ECUs, they're fairly universal. You got to wire all your sensors over to the ECU. Uh, as far as I know, there's no plug and play harness for it. Uh, someone can correct me if I'm wrong. And you don't have a base file to start with. So at least with UpRev, you're starting, and even ROM Raider, you have your factory base file that has all your base cal calculations that you're making adjustments to. A standalone, all your fields are completely empty. So you have to start from completely scratch. Your car will not start on a standalone ECU until you build a base map and figure out a base map that will even just get the car started. So if you got a lot of time and skill, you might be able to do it. If it's a race car, it's a great option. Uh, street cars, they tend not to do as well. It's a little bit harder to get all the tables set up for street driving when you're dealing with a lot of temperature, humidity changes, and things like that. But it can be done. Uh, there's several people on here that's done it. Um, Right off the top of my head, Caleb just did a standalone ECU. I say for about 99% of the people out there, if you're just doing a basic turbo setup, standalone ECU is probably going to be overkill for you. So I'm looking at playing around with ROM Raider. I'm, talk I'm talking to someone who has just recently did ROM Raider successfully. He's kind of walking me through and answering a lot of questions I have about ROM Raider. If anybody's interested in it, I might make a video in the future on how to set up ROM Raider and how to get it functioning properly. So if you're interested in that video, definitely let me know. It's definitely the cheapest tuning option. I'm not aware of any tuners around that actually tune it, but you could probably find some Subaru tuner to maybe give you a tune to at least get you going. But getting a tuner that's familiar with the platform is really the best way to go. One of the reasons being is that they are familiar with the platform. They can help guide you when you're building your car on what works and what doesn't work well. Thank you for watching. Aloha. Peace out. Catch you on the next one. All right. That was my stand. Pretty ghetto.